How am I going to tell Harry that my parents don't like him? I love him so much and I don't want to lose him. What am I going to do now? Huh? I have no option than to lie. I have to make him believe my parents like him a lot. I heard you are going back to school tomorrow. If you like, when you get back to school, you can start from where you stopped with your so-called Harry or whatever you call him. Or be it in mind. Even if your father later changes his mind, I, your mom, will never allow that thing to come into this family. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am.
you never love anyone. So I don't think that would be a problem. I love you and I will be
What is really happening? For four months now, Harry's number has not been going through. It's not been connecting. What can be the reason? We only spoke three times after he left Nigeria for Europe and that was six months ago. I really need to hear his voice. And for him to tell me what is happening, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to worry too much. What is the matter? Hmm? I noticed that you've not been happy for a while. But you've not told me anything concerning the young prince that was there with his family yesterday. He's a very handsome man, and I believe both of you will make a very good home. But what do you think? Mm, I, I don't want to marry him. Why? She won't that know I'm, I'm engaged to her. You keep quiet! What nonsense! Your father will hear this. Nonsense!
Who is it? It's me, Your Majesty. Come in. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Dinner is served. I'm going to take that one answer. I had in mind to go to the village tomorrow in search of her. Isabella, you betrayed me! Yes. Even if I lost contact with you, that is not enough reason for you to betray me and marry another man. I saw. I went through hell. I was, I was in the street. Street. I hustled just to make money, come back to fulfill my promises to you. But you betrayed my love and to marry another man. It's not possible. It's not possible. Damn. Is it possible that Harry went there and got married to another woman, then changed his number so that I can't reach him? No, I must find out what happened. He can't just abandon me like that and come back from nowhere. I must find out what happened. What's going on? I told her to come to my room. Not till now, she's not here. Having these feelings that something is wrong somewhere. Mm. Sorry, I slept off. You slept off? Yes. Okay. Okay, it's okay. What's wrong? I noticed that for some time now, you've not been yourself. What's bothering you? I'm fine. I've said this over and over and over again. There's nothing wrong. I am fine. Are you sure? Yes.
is this not the man I saw with Isabella the other day? Does it mean he also come here to eat lunch? Good. I am not going to miss him again today. How am I going to see him again? I will not rest until I see him and find out why he abandoned me and made a fool out of me. I thought you slept. No, I'm about to sleep. Okay. I came in to say good night. For 10 years I have forced myself to love a man I have no feelings for, all because of Harry. I must find out what happened. I must. Who is it? Who is it? It's me, Your Majesty. Come in. Greetings, Your Majesty. Is there any problem? There's a young man in the living room. He said he's here to see you, Your Majesty. A young man? Yes, Your Majesty. What is his name? He said his name is Harry. Um, okay, um. Uh, I'll, I'll be out soon. Okay, Your Majesty.
my local Abigon. Amanda, I don't want you to ever mention that name in this house again, okay? Okay. Good. Um, but he said he's your friend. My friend? <laughs> he's not my friend. Maybe you didn't understand what he was trying to tell you. But who is he? He is my brother's friend. Hmm? And please don't tell daddy about what happened here today, okay? Okay? And get your brother for me, alright? Okay. Mm. Hello, darling. Hi. How are you? Good. How's work today? Good. How are you? You came back quite early. What happened? Yeah. What happened? I wasn't doing anything in the office, so I decided to come home and rest. Okay, so I have them fix something for you to eat. I know you must be really hungry. Yeah. All right. Did anyone come here today? Um. Yes. Um. My 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 brother's friend. My brother sent a message to me through him. Your brother's friend? Yes. How come? Why didn't your brother do that himself? He's not feeling too fine. Oh. Yes. Why are you sounding like this? Why are you asking me too many questions? You're doubting me? No, 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 no. no. I'm not doubting you. It's okay. I'll have them fix something for you. No, I'll do it myself. Okay. All right. Did you see that man that left here a minute ago? Oh, yes. I saw him entering the compound. I didn't pay much attention to him. Hmm. Who was he? My dear. Do you know what Scott is talking with me about? What did she tell you? She told me that the man told them that he is their mom's friend. Friend? My sister. How? I don't know. Hey? Wow. How Let can us... a man be a friend? I don't know. I don't this, is this is really strange. Very strange. Let's mind our business. Where is this boy now? Pick your call. Hello, MNK. Where have you been? Why are you not picking your calls? Please, I need you to do a favor for me. If perchance Ugonaya calls you to ask you uh, if someone came to the house looking for me and all of that, just tell him you sent the person, okay? And if you should ask you why you didn't come by yourself, just tell him you were, you're not feeling too well, please. Just do what I've told you to do now. What kind of question is that? I'll call you back later, Biko. Harry came to the house. Benita, I could not believe it. I don't know how he found this place. What does he want from you again? I don't know. I didn't even wait for him to say anything. I just told him to leave the house. But he dropped his number. He said I should call him if I don't want to see him here again. Uh, okay, have you called him? No. Sabella, you should be careful. You should be very careful. 
Call him. Find out what he wants from you. Tell him to stay away from you. Else he'll pull you out from your marriage. Anita, I'm confused. What are you confused about? Please, let Harry stay in your past. Look at Prince Ugonaya, he loves you so much. Don't let him ruin your 10 year old marriage. Please, you're my friend. I don't want you to make mistakes. Isabella, you want to understand. Hello, Isabella. Harry, what is it you want to say? This is not a fun discussion. <laughs> Harry, what exactly do you want to say? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, what do you want from me? Do, do you know what you made me go through? Do you know what I went through from my... What is it you... Just say it. Listen, I have a lot to explain to you. If there is anyone who should be angry here, it should be me. You left me and married another man. You're such a liar. What do you mean by if any of us should be upset? Do you know what you put me through? Look, if you don't have any other thing to say, just get off the phone. What rubbish? Can we meet in Apple Garden Hotel tomorrow? I have a lot to tell you. I am not meeting you anywhere. Okay? Say it over the phone. Isabella, do not condemn a man until you hear his own side of the story. I have a lot to explain to you. What explanation do you have? Do you know what? Just keep your explanations to yourself because I see you don't have anything to say. Get off my phone! No. He abandoned me and made me an object of scorn before my parents. What exactly does he want to explain to me? Hmm. Should I give him a chance just to hear what he has to say? No man, no man has ever loved me the way he loved me. Maybe I was wrong. Let me just listen to him and hear what he has to say.
Is the car ready? Yes, your majesty. Can I have the key, please? Um, you won't be driving me. I'll drive myself. Okay. Okay, your majesty. Just help me with the keys. Okay. Yes, come in. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. uh, good day. Did you remove any MOU from this drawer? No, sir. Maybe I left this thing at home. And I need to stop something to draw. Okay, okay, okay. Sir. Mr. Ken is there to see you. Oh, ask him to come in. Okay, sir. Yeah. The Almighty Ugonna. The man that couldn't arrest. John Kennedy, <laughs> the great man. Long time, man. Yeah, I'm happy to see it. Sit down. Where have you been? Oh my God. I just traveled to the village and I came back yesterday. John Kennedy. Oh. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice oh, to see you. Thank you so much. You know, I was about to go out before you came in. Okay. I want to go and get some things I forgot at home. Okay. So I guess, or I suggest, you escort me home. No problem. Even my wife would love to see you. I would love to see her yeah. too. Let's, let's go. All right. All right. Let's go.
seems my wife is not around. Think so? Let's go inside first. Don't know my prince. What do you mean don't know? Didn't she tell you where she was going to? She didn't tell me, my prince. Did you see any father here when I was leaving in the morning? No, my prince. Maybe she should be in the room. Ken, I'm coming. All right, wait for me. Yes, yes. Oh yes, please come. I'm waiting. Hello, darling. How are you? Isabella, where are you coming from? I said hello. I said, where are you coming from? I'm just coming from Benita's house. I went to see her. You left this house without a guard. And you want me to believe that you went to see Benita. I don't understand. Don't get me angry. For the last time, Isabel, where are you coming from? What else do you want me to tell you? I went to see Benita. Leaving her house, my car broke down on the way. I had to call one of your mechanics to come fix the car for me. Here I am now, you're asking me where I'm coming from. What was the motive behind your decision? Why would you leave this house without a guard? Talk to me! Don't I have the right to leave the house without a guard? You don't have such right in this house. Do you get me? Next time you leave this house without a guard. Remember the good times we had spent together and the beautiful future we had dreamt of. Darling, I never wanted to create a distance between us. I promise to make a better husband to you if only you can give me the opportunity. Sweet dreams, my love. I got myself into.
Congratulations, father. Finally, it has come and gone. So, how is the business going? Uh, very well, father. At least I am trying my best to keep the standard you set before you left us. We are the best cosmetic producing company in the country. Mm. That's all right. I'm happy to hear that. So, keep it up, boy. Keep Thank it you, up. Father. Mm. Uh, Ugo. Yes, sir. Had you any issue with your wife before coming back? No. Why do you ask? I observed she has not been very happy with you uh, since you came back. Probably uh, because you have unsettled issues at the city. No, no. There is nothing like that. At all. But I don't I don't know what's wrong with her. You better find out why she shall not be happy with you, okay? Because every woman should be happy with the husband at all times to keep the family going. Hmm? You better find out. It's okay, lady. I I've heard what you said. That's all right. But please give me some seconds, I'll be back.
I know there is something my wife is hiding and that I must find out. Hello, what are you doing here? Nothing, just want to be here. All alone? Let's go inside. Go, I will join you soon. You yeah, sure? Okay, I'm waiting. Sending me those text messages you sent to me. My husband might just see it someday. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to show you how much I still care about you. Stop! Okay? Leave me alone. I've told you there's nothing between us. Nothing can go on where it's over between us. <laughs> you know that is not true. It is not possible. In short, it can't be possible. You married him because you thought I abandoned you. Now that you have found out the truth, it is time to take the bull by the arm. What part of no don't you understand? Stop calling me, okay? Stop it! I know you still love me so much. From the world you sound, it's obvious you care so much about me. Can you just stop it? My husband is here. Stop it! Talking with on the phone. Um, my mom, I, she, you know, her mother's call and complain about one thing or the other. Um, but she sends her regards anyway. To give it to me last night. I said I forgot. I'm sorry. Don't be upset. Tell me why I shouldn't be upset. That small broke letter last night for me, and you didn't remember to give it to me the moment I came back. Don't be upset. Are you Jesus? Are you mad? You slapped me. Get out of my room. You slapped me. Didn't you hear me?
I was looking for you at the kitchen. I've been here now. Has Madame come? Yes, so. She came back with the kids and she went straight to her room as usual. Why is it that she's always in her room these days? My dear, I think Madame is having problems. In fact, last night, I heard her crying. The prince beat her. Are you serious? Yes, so. Hey, is it because of the man that came here the other day? That man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but remember when they were about to get married? Mm -hmm. She never wanted to marry the prince. Hey, I think she's regretting her marriage now. You think so? Yes, now. But what could be the problem now? The prince is a handsome man, and you know that. Hmm. Well, whatever the reason is, it's best known to her. As for me, I'll finish up now and go and cook lunch. Okay, continue. Let me get some from the other side. Open the door. I know you're in there. Please, my lord. Please, I am sorry. I'm here to apologize, okay? Baby. Baby. It's true that I hit her, but that's not enough reason for her not to open the door for me. And her phone has been ringing. I wonder who has been 
calling her phone. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't just know what came over me. But please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. Baby, please talk to me. What do you want me to say? You hit me. Next thing you beat me. And another thing you probably hit me with something again and I will die then you take my cups to my parents, right? I said I am sorry. Sorry. It won't happen again. Okay? yesterday. You don't want to look at it. Don't you like it? I'll look at it later. Let me see. Sir, the gate, sir, I should deliver it to you. What's the person's name? He didn't say his name, my majesty. Birthday to you, my love. I bought this special gift for you because I know how much you cherish beautiful flowers. My love for you shall continue to flourish like this flower. I wish you more fruitful years ahead. Your love, Harry. My husband didn't even remember my own first day.
happy birthday to you my love i bought this special gift for you because i know how much you cherish beautiful flowers my love for you shall continue to flourish like this flower i wish you more fruitful years ahead your love harry my husband didn't even remember my own birthday Hello? Yo! <laughs> Hello? I know you're calling to find out if I've received your message. I have, but that was a risk you took. Why would you send a gift to me in my matrimonial home? Sorry about that, but I'm only trying to prove to you that I'm ready to take any risk. I still remember your passion for flowers. It's a terrible risk. What will I tell my husband? Did you think of that? Come on, come on. You're not a baby. Listen. Tell him you got the flower for yourself as a better gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> I miss you so much. Uh, okay, baby, I have to go now. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, call me when you're alone. Driving. Okay. Love is as sweet as this beautiful flower. Oh, Harry, even if I choose to divorce my husband, what will happen to my children? Who is it? I'm Lord. Come in. For me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, to you. Me. Thank you. Do you want some? No. Sure. Sure. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't know. 
money and go home, please. Don't you? No. Please, my wife. No, 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 Shoot him! Ah! What? No bullets! Shoot! Let's leave. Let's go. Let's go. 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 I'm yet to believe what you did last night. I'm sorry. Why do you want to kill me? I'm so sorry. They trust me to kill both of us and... I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of our children living in this world alone. The gun was given to me first. I never pulled the trigger. And the gun was handed over to you. Hmm. Without no thoughts, you pulled the trigger. Why didn't you do the same as me? I'm so sorry. Do you remember this bag? This, 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 this is the... the this, well, where did you get the bag? How did you recover it? I didn't recover it. They never went with it. You planned this. You planned this! I suspected that you were having an ace up your slaves. And you proved me right. You're a big fool! So you planned this! You, 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 you made me choose because of my children and you're making me feel, feel like I'm the terrible one! I hate you. I hate you! You're a demon! I hate you!
Where did you get this from? Am I not talking to a human being? I said, where did you get this flower? I said I got it for myself. And this letter, who sent it to you? So, um, what you do is go about searching my room, looking for something that's not looking for you, is that it? What are you looking for? Just let me be this afternoon, please. I, I said who sent you this letter? I said let me be, please. I said Go. You went too far. You shouldn't have touched her. I have always warned you about this, your hot temper. You would have done the same thing if you were in my shoes. But not to that extent. Come on! Now we have known where your problem is coming from. We need to follow it wisely. And don't forget that she's your wife. And you must protect her. So what's your suggestion? Let's go to your house. Let me talk to her. She's not picking. This is becoming something else. Where on earth will she be? She deliberately did not want to pick my calls. Whenever she comes back in this house, I'm going to lock her up for one month. No, no, no. Let's just wait for her to come back first, please. Excuse me. Don't worry, you'll get better, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Take a look at this. She left it behind. What's the meaning of this? I don't know. I've never seen her remove this from her finger before. I'm having these feelings that 
she went to see her parents. Okay? Let's just wait for her to come back first. Please. Could it be true that she traveled to the village to complain to her parents? Or? I, I, I can't understand what is going on. Where could she be at, at this time of the night? She was still sleeping. Her husband really dealt with her. No wonder she was able to take that hard decision to break up with her husband. What are you doing with my wife's phone? What? Did I just hear you say your wife? What? Wife, will you give that phone to my wife now? I don't think she's willing to speak with you. And I will never allow you to kill her. She never loved you. She is now in a safe hand. Who are you? Oh. Do you really want to know? Well, 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 well. My name is Harry. The man you stole away his fiance. Hello? My friend, will you stop that joke and give that phone to my wife now? Joke? Listen, Mr. Man, let me advise you. You better go back to her parents and collect your bright price you paid on her head. Because this woman will never come to your house. Hey, 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 Mr. Man, Mr. Man. See, if I don't see my wife here this night in this house, you're going to be in a very big trouble with me. Do you understand? Who do you think you are? Listen, 
The battle line has just been dropped. You will never see her again. Rubbish. Hello? Hello? You mean your wife has not come back up to this moment? I have not seen her. This is unbelievable. Have you tried to find out who that Harry of a guy is? I called her parents to inform them of the situation. And I was told that Harry was her ex-boyfriend. I learned they were supposed to get married, but the guy let her travel out of the country. That was when I went to ask for her hand in marriage. Her parents persuaded her to marry me. And you were not aware of all this? At all. She never told me. God. So I am suspecting that the guy arrived the country and eventually met with my wife. And that explains the sudden change in my wife's character. You got it. Oh yes, you got it. That means your wife must be in the guy's house. But how could she? I will look for that guy. And I will find him. And when I do, going to skin him alive. Oh, yes. I will skin him alive! Iwe, what is wrong with her? She's not picking the call. She's not picking mine as well. That means what the husband told us is true. This is a big shame to the family. I don't expect this from Miss Abella. After many years of marriage. We're king. What are we going to do? I don't have anything to do yet. Until I speak with the husband. And what if she refuses to answer us? That we need to do something about this. Before this news spreads everywhere. It seems you are not getting me. I have to speak with the husband before. We will do anything. Meanwhile, the most important thing now for us to do is to send some delegates to her father-in-law, Igwe or Sadebe, to apologize to him over this matter. That's all we can do for now. Um, Igwe, you, you are right. But still, I wouldn't want this news to spread, just like Emenike pointed out. Suggest you send them or no and one other elder. What would you think? There are people still calling. Yes. I believe he told them. So they've been calling me. Did you pick my husband's call? Yes. Why? Earlier. We'll let him know about us, the better for both of us. We need to put an end to this. What about my children? They can't stay without me. Spell and don't worry. I'll take care of that. Harry, I am doing this because of you. I am doing this because I love you and I don't want you to disappoint me again. Love, I promise you with all my heart. I will never disappoint you. I will stand by you. Baby, you know what happened you the other time was not memory. Please trust me. I will stand by you to the end of time. Trust me. Mother, what are you doing? 
Where are you going now today? Yes, I'm going to the office. Daddy, what is mommy? She should be back by now. We are missing her. It's okay, very soon mommy will come back. Okay? Mm. She went to see grandpa. Hmm? She'll be back soon. Okay? Now you go in and take your siesta. Hmm? Thank you. I'll see you. She's not ready to go back to her husband, but she's deeply worried about her children. That is the only challenge I am facing right now. I need to do something about that before I can be able to convince her to find a divorce. Then she neither call nor pick my calls. And my children are worried about her. Oh God, I think we have to involve the police in this matter. Okay, no, 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 no. I am not going to invite police in this. I am going to handle it myself. Oh God, you don't need to take laws into your own hands. It can be dangerous, you know. Okay, no matter what it takes me, I will do anything to bring back my wife. She's my wife. And that idiot will never get away with it. Well, you know the police can make the search for your wife very easy for us. Ken, I am not calling police in this issue. I have mounted my surveillance. Anytime from now, Harry's house will be discovered. If you say so, huh, before I forget, I want you to be very, very careful about your children. I mean, I want you to take some precautionary measures by stopping them from going to school, at least for the meantime, in order to guarantee their safety. Can I can't stop my children from going to school because of this? Then you have to inform the school authorities about what is going on. Listen, Ugo. I have my reasons for telling you this. My in-law, Igwe Zemwanta, sent a delegate to me yesterday. It was from them that I knew what was going wrong. And then I called on my son who confirmed it. This is strange indeed. How did Strange. How can a woman Leave her husband's house to another man. It's unimaginable. It's strange. Um, oh no. Igwe. I summoned you and the chair, Madoka, so that you will get yourself prepared to go and see my son at the city tomorrow. To know exactly what is going wrong. I am ready to take care of your transport fare to and from. Agree. That will be fine. And the earlier we go, the better. Mm. Because a stitching time seems now. That's true. That's true. I can assure you, we'll come back with good results. Yes. Good. That young man will never go on holiday. He will never slip out of my fingers. Let me wait for you until you come back from this city.
I want you to be very, very careful about your children. I mean, I want you to take some precautionary measures by stopping them from going to school, at least for the meantime, in order to guarantee their safety. Can I can't stop my children from going to school because of this? Then you have to inform the school authorities about what is going on. Listen, I have my reasons for telling you this. When you get to the school, give this letter to the school proprietor and do as I instructed. Make sure you hide yourself where no one can spot you. Do I made myself clear? Yes, my friends. You can go now. Told me how we can locate the business place in the city. Ah, why are you bothering yourself? Igwe has given me the address. Once we get to the city, the, with the address given to me, we will trace the house of the prince. Well, all the man, well, but uh, 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 oh no, mm -hmm. let us hurry up so that we can come back. Oh yeah, time. let's go. Let's go. in school. Everyone has gone. My children are not in school. I don't know. Please, let's go. Can you know how it feels 
when your wife starts misbehaving. Someone you've been living with for years. I'm feeling so bad about this whole situation. I understand. I'm running out of patience. My friends, my friends, I'm busy. Oh no. My friends. You're welcome. Thank you. My friends. You're welcome. I greet you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. My father informed me about your coming. I greet you. A good day, others. You're welcome. Thank you, my prince. How was it, John? Very well, my prince. Uh, my prince, he great actually worried about what he had. And that is why he sent us mm. to find out the situation of things and then came back to him. I'm on it. Mm. Yeah, you're on it. Oh, good news. Wonderful. Ben. What is it? Your plan has paid. We have to go now. Okay. Yes, let's go. Oh, no. I just got an information about my wife's whereabouts. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's good. That's good news. Good. Uh, please That's do good. sit down. Ruth. Ruth. My prince. Uh, Ruth, please, whatever my kinsman wants, please make sure they are set well. Yes, okay? Yes, please, my others. I'll be back very soon. I don't have any names. Please. What's that? Okay. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Let me fix something for you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ken, okay. why don't you go with your car? There's no problem. So, so worried. I am confused. My children will not be school today. Baby, your children are all right. It's possible your husband must have suspected our motive and decided to stop your children from coming to school. Why would he do that? For what reason? Come down. The most important thing is your divorce. And you have to be fast about it. Filing for a divorce is not the issue. I need my children around me. That's the most important thing to me right now. Relax. Relax. And trust me. I will do everything possible to bring your children here and they will live with us. Just, just trust me and focus on your divorce. Then leave the rest for me. Guy in. 
Yes, sir. I'd like to see him. Okay. You call him? Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand how it feels, especially what Prince is going to right now. What I don't understand is why a woman will leave her husband's house and run to another man. It is awful. <laughs> it is shameful. Mm -hmm. But the good news is said, uh, Igor will be glad that um, Prince has finally found his wife. So our visit is not in vain. Mm -hmm. But that young man must be punished too. Punished. Ichi. Hmm? Come to think of it. Is it really right to force our children into marriage? Especially getting married to who they don't seem to like. It is not right. But if he or she finds him or herself in such a situation, all what that person needs is to adjust. Not start messing up. It's not done. Don't mess up. You are right. Adjust. Please let us eat our food before you get to the and our sumptuous food. Mm -hmm. In my way inside. So we will move in, okay? But be very careful. That guy might be dangerous. Okay, so let's move in there. Let's go. and charge for mockery! For the last time, where is my wife? Mr. Mawi, you are not here for child's play. I'm crazy! Help me! I'm crazy! What's going on here? Isabella! What am I going to tell you? Are you here to take your home? The children, we need you. I am not going home with you. My prince, welcome. My prince, you're welcome. My prince, you have to take things easy, okay? Things will be fine. I have to go now. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> my prince, you're welcome. Just when we thought everything is solved, we have to wait and find out what the problem is. I don't know. Let us wait. Damn. I am going to get them arrested. Harry, please don't do this, please. For the sake of my children. Arrested and make sure they spend days in police cell. If you arrest Ugunaya, my children will eventually find out that you arrested their father because of me. Please, I'm begging you, don't do this. Sir, I can't take this. Sir, I can't. Please. I must reciprocate. You have to bear it for my sake. I don't want to lose my children. Please. What do you mean? How are they going to get this place? 
I don't know. I have absolutely no idea, no clue. I was going to ask you. No. You cannot just beat me for nothing. I will reciprocate. I will do something. We went to the young man's house with Prince Ugunaya. And every effort to make her return back to her husband proved a body. That is the reason Igwe Osadebe sent us to you. That he is no longer happy with your daughter's behavior. And in addition to what my own will said, our Igwe said he is not happy with your daughter's behavior. He wants her to go back to her husband. I fail her to do that. He will have no other option than to sanction her and her boyfriend. That is the message for my Igwe, Your Highness. You are welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. I heard everything you said here. I and my wife are not happy with our daughter. Though I have already sent for her, she is expected to be here this evening. And I will talk to her. Your Highness, I'm very sorry to see this. I doubt if your daughter will honor your invitation. Because from what I saw at the city two days ago, it's as if the young man uses charm to control your daughter. Um, uh, uh, your Highness, oh no, we is not saying that your daughter will not come to you. But in the event, that she does not heed your call, then know that what Onowa said is correct. It's okay. I will wait for her. And I have taken note of all that you said there. I will apply every measure to end this story. Thank you. So, Your Highness, we want to be on our way, Your Highness. It's all right. Extend my greetings to my friend and neighbor. Thank you, Your Highness. Tell him all that I said. Thank you, Highness. Thank you. Thank you, Highness. Thank you, Thank you Highness. Thank you, Highness. Are you Mr. Izuchuku, the father of Harry Izuchuku? Yes, Your Highness. Harry is my son. Are you aware that he took my daughter away from her husband? No, Your Highness. I'm not aware of that. Now that you are aware, listen very well. Warn your son to keep away from my daughter. If not, he will not like what I will do to him if I get to that city where he resides. I will do exactly that, Your Highness, please. And you do that as quickly as possible. Yes, Your Highness. If not, your son Harry will regret the day he stepped into my family. Yes, Your Highness, I will do exactly that. I will tell him. I hope you've heard my father, the king. If I dare come back here again, heaven will fall. Hey! What is so special about this girl that Harris will not leave this girl alone? Huh? Now, even Jack and Kota, I was near where you come and near where I come. Man, I can't hear Kota. You can't hear Kota. Hello, Sigum.
Isabella has not disobeyed me before. Now I know what the elders from Amukenu said that she was under his spell. I am finished. What kind of a problem is this? She cannot even beat her cause. Is that not madness? Huh? What is she doing in another man's house when her husband's house is there? Please, we have to do something. If Mohammed cannot go to the mountain, then the mountain will go to Mohammed. Isabella is a daughter disgraced of this kingdom. Had it been, I have another daughter. This act alone is enough for me to disown her outright. My king, please calm down. My daughter could be under his spell, as you pointed out. As no one in the name Had it been my daughter stayed in her husband's house, she shouldn't have been killed. Isabella, <laughs> if I don't see you after tomorrow, you will know the kind of father you have. What sort of temptation is all this? God, you will please, she's my only daughter. Biko. Did your mother call again? Yes, she did, but I didn't pick. Don't you think she won't answer that? I am not going to see them. I am not going anywhere. That the reason I'm in this mess to start with. What would they tell me? Go back to your husband, your children. Your... I am not. They're my parents, okay? I know how to handle them. And as for Gunnaya, I am not going back to the house again, ever. Try as anything for me. I will kill him. He's too small for me to handle. Brings you here Harry, or what are you called? You are looking for my trouble. You are the one looking for my trouble by intruding into my compound of meditation. What do you want? Name your price. I will give it to you. Just for you to leave my wife alone. Settlement. You mean settlement? If there's anybody who should be settled among us, then it should be you. Ready to pay you double of whatever you have in mind to pay. I'm not like you who depend on your father's business. Hey, hey, you just made a mistake. I don't depend on my father's business. I manage it. As for you, you are a drug dealer. Your days are numbered. And very soon, the law will catch up on you. Now, are you ready to release my wife? You already know the answer. Now, leave my company. Else. Else what? I'm scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Nor the ducks you came with. Do you know what I do in the state? I kill people just to make money. I kill people. I shoot people. I run with 50 cents. I hustle. you. Street. Street. Street credibility. Give me so much money! 
Money! Now leave my company. Else! You just touched the tail of a lion. Send my wife back to my house, or you face the music. She belongs to me. No one will take her away from me. I will fight you. I'm ready to fight with my last blood. She belongs to me. It's a bell like it's mine. No one will ever take her away from me. And what do you mean by that? If what is happening is giving you joy and you're happy, I am not. But I'm not fighting for my right. What right are you fighting for having another man's wife in your house and you call it your right? This woman in question wants me. She never loved her husband. They forced her to marry. I told you the only reason I would let go if she refuses me. She wants me. I am ready to fight with my last blood. Harry, take that woman back to her husband. What you are committing is a serious offense. Having another woman, somebody's wife in your home, and you say it is your right? I think I want to leave now. I don't want to be part of this. Come and drag me back to the park immediately. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. I was expecting you to stop. When the dog is close to the grave, you will never perceive the stench of excreta. On go by one kita, there is this. I beg to leave now. Drive me back to the park immediately. I, that proverb is only for local dogs, not rot wild like man. What? I've been so much more than to fight. I will fight for my love. She belongs to me. I was in the streets with her, a big man. I should send his wife back to him or I face the music. That means he could be thinking of something. I should have talked about this in one ago. If he means to stop me, then I have to stop him. Harry, I'm still worried about my children. I need to see them. I know you are missing your children, but you have to exercise a little patience. You know Uguna is still on our neck. I have to take your thing before any other thing. Please, whatever you choose to do, don't hurt him. He's still the father of my children. Is that all you have to say? What is wrong with what I just said? Harry! Harry! What is wrong with what I just said? Harry! When you talk about him, show that you value his life more than mine. What if he has in mind to kill me? Will you be happy because I don't have children that will suffer when I'm gone? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. This is not the first time, not the second time. I'm tired of hearing the same thing all the time.
My friend Ken is gone. And one of my guards. Could, could it be I was the target? this who 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 have I offended
Someone you here because of what happened yesterday. It has come to my notice that some people are after my life. I want you people to be more vigilant. If you notice any suspicious movement, do not hesitate to let me know immediately. Do I make myself clear? Yes, my friends. And I notice some of you don't take your night duties serious these days. So from now on, I want you to start taking your night duty serious. Yes, my friend. You can go back to your duty post. And when you get there, you will inform others what I've said. as much. What is keeping him? I mean, he has taken enough time. It should be traffic that is laying here. Hmm. Better be. Who is there? Check before you let in. Sorry for the little delay. It was due to traffic. We could be like that. So what's the plan now? The plan still remains the same. But you have to be very careful. No mistakes. You didn't give us the picture the last time. So it was obviously your fault. To play the game is not a problem. But this time, it's going to cost you an extra one fifty thousand. Money is not the problem. All I want is professionalism. The kind of words I like to hear. This is 70,000 now. Oh. Once you get 
job is complicated. I will pay you your balance, 80,000 naira. Deal? Deal. Get things ready. I'm going to try to have this done. I'm going to miss. Try to try to start it, eh? What could be the fault of this car? My mom, we've watched here for three days now and nothing is happening. The guy is not showing up. See, what are we going to do now? People may start suspecting us here. See, I understand you. I understand you very well. But you see, we, we, we have to try. We have to try more, okay? Maybe we'll borrow a plan, okay? We have to make every plan. But then, let's try for today once more. Just go, go back and try more. Go back and try. Try more. Try to start it there. Eh? Better the try to very well before you. Eh? Try. Now that we have finished with the party stuff, I'm confident that you will continue to this period of time. I thought you said you saw him three days ago. Of course I did. But from the conversation, it sounds as if you've never met him before. <laughs> I think you misunderstood it. I'm driving, I'll call you one. your call at that moment. I was my wife. I'm not sure about that. Probably he's still mourning his best friend. I think we need to change plan. Go into that compound and get your operation done.
Isabella had eavesdropping on my conversation. I think her attitude has changed recently. Go! 
on now! I'm giving you five seconds to take this policeman out of my compound or I will shoot her and kill myself! For the last time, drop your gun! Please don't let him kill me! Please don't allow him to harm my wife, please. I will kill her now!
Oh, oh.